All right, everyone, I promise this is my last video for today. I'm just trying to get myself caught up here on different stuff and everybody else caught up. With the rotary rejection, there was a conclusion left, so I would like to read the conclusion as it is because it's very short. Uh, this is my second take on this. Usually I do my videos very raw, but there's every now and again I will do like a second video if I screw up and I just screwed up on this. But this is Joyce Meyer's book, The Root of Rejection, and I'm finally giving you, you know, I've already did chapter 9, so I'm finally going to give you the conclusion. So, uh, here we go. You can be free from the root of rejection. Let's look at a few more scriptures. Romans 12.2 says, do not be conformed to this world, this age, fashioned after and adapted to its external superficial customs, but be transformed, changed, by the entire renewal of your mind, by its new ideals and its new attitude, so that you may prove for yourselves what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God, even the thing which is good and acceptable and perfect in his sight for you. I'm doing this because she has stuff in parentheses and brackets and I want to just kind of do that so you know what it, uh, what is what. That's why I'm reading a little slower. I've studied Romans 12.2 and basically what it's saying is if you want Jesus to transform you and work in you from the inside to produce results on the outside, then you will have to make a decision not to be conformed to the world's idea of what you ought to be. It's either transformation or confirmation. Romans 7, 6, But now we are discharged from the law and have terminated all intercourse with it, having died to what once restrained and held us captive. Romans 8, 4, 14, and 15 so that the righteous and just requirement of the law might be fully met in us who live and move not in the ways of the flesh but in the ways of the spirit our lives gover governed not by the standards and according to the dictates of the flesh but controlled by the Holy Spirit for all who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God for the Spirit which you have now received is not a spirit of slavery to put you once more in bondage to fear but you have received the spirit of adoption the spirit producing sonship in the bliss of which we cry Abba Father Father Galatians 5, 16, 17. But I say, walk and live habitually in the Holy Spirit, responsive to and controlled and guided by the Spirit. Then you will certainly not gratify the cravings and desires of the flesh, of human nature without God, for the desires of the flesh are opposed to the Holy Spirit and the desires of the Spirit are opposed to the flesh godless human nature for these are antagonistic to each other continually withstanding and in conflict with each other so that you are not free but are prevented from doing what you desire to do Galatians 5 1 says in this freedom Christ has made us free and completely liberated us stand fast then and do not be hampered and held and snared and submit again to a yoke of slavery which you have once put off are you ready to stand fast in the freedom God has provided for you the first step toward freedom from the root of rejection is knowing Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. In my journey toward my own healing, I have encountered all types of quick fix methods in today's hurting world, yet I have discovered that the only lasting cure for the root of rejection is a relationship with Jesus Christ. He took your rejection upon himself. 
His death and resurrection purchased your freedom and mine from the pain and behavior patterns produced by a lifetime of rejection. If you have not made Jesus Christ your Savior, will you pray with me now? And I ask everyone, please, and I know that there are atheists out there and non-believers and Wiccans and all kinds of people and you know I'm friends with, an, uh, with various types of people I'll be friends with you regardless of what you believe in and I have never judged you by what you believe in and everything my friends are still awesome regardless but if you are willing to at this point in time to pray with me and to consider a life with Jesus Christ everything this is your moment now Please pray with me and bow your heads at this moment and let's take this time together to give our lives over to Jesus. As I have been baptized um, when I was 17, but at this moment I would like to give myself again to my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I come to you a sinner. I repent all of my sins and ask you to forgive me and cleanse me by your blood. I now make you the Lord of my life. I choose to forgive those who have hurt and rejected me. Heal me of the root of rejection. Fill me with the Holy Spirit because today I choose to allow you to do this inner work in me that will produce results on the outside for all of the world to see. I choose to be transformed by your power and your love not to conform to man's opinions and ideas of who and what I should be. Jesus, I pray that you will forgive me for any manipulative, controlling behavior that I have ever engaged in. Help me to stop manipulating and controlling others. Set me free from the fear of man. Help me to be a God-pleaser, not a man-pleaser. Teach me how to live as a victorious Christian. Reveal your love to me and help me to truly understand that I have been accepted in the Beloved. I pray this prayer in faith, expecting life-changing results. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. And I would like to continue on real quick with another short prayer, so please um, just uh, stay with me for a moment as this is my own personal prayer for you and me. Lord, I want to come to you today to pray for anyone who may be viewing this at this moment. And I also want to pray for anyone who did not view this video. I just, I pray for everyone, Lord, that they would seek your light and your love and your truth at this time. Lord, we need you so much now. We need you back in our schools. We need you back in the government. We need you back in the plans and the decisions that are being made by the authorities in this world. We need you back with us now. As there is so much devastation, there is so much hurt, there are so many dying, Lord, so many dying that should not be dying. So much going on, Lord, that we need you so much and you did not leave Lord by your choice you were pushed out and that's a difference Lord that I hope many will come to understand that you would not forsake us you promised us this you promised us that you would not forsake us you would not turn your back on us and Lord I truly believe that it is us the people who have pushed you away and now Lord we need to pray and bring you back into where you truly belong I pray Lord for those that are non-believers I pray for the atheists I pray for the Wiccans I pray for all who choose to believe someone else and the things that they are saying Lord we are all allowed to believe in our truths we are all allowed the that of which is free will but Lord I pray that those and everything that are against you those that do not believe I pray that they would find you that they would seek you Lord and that through you they would find that their lives will be turned around so much more and that they could have a happiness and a freedom that they have never experienced before and I thank you for being there, Lord. I thank you for the healing. And I thank you for all that you've done for me and the beautiful people that you've placed before me in my life, whether it be family or friends, everything that my past uh, dogs that I had were like daughters to me. Uh, this opportunity, Lord, to put out these books that I have put out knowing that I just released my fifth book, Lord, it's just, 
this is you. These words are yours, Lord. This is your heart, Lord. This is your life, and I give my life to you one more time, Lord, and I will continue to give my life to you for the rest of my life, as for as long as it is your desire for me to live. And I just thank you so much, Lord, and please bless all of my friends and all the viewers and everything, and of course non-viewers on this day. Please just continue to bless their lives. I pray that they have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend. And I just, I thank you so much, Lord, and I love you, and in Jesus' name I pray, amen. I want to thank everybody for spending this time with me. I hope that I didn't mess up on my last two reviews, you know, this one and the one before. I just, I hope I didn't mess up on them. As I said, I was winging it, and I haven't done this in a long time, so I'm kind of out of touch with it. I pray, though, that I did, you know, according to what will help you to understand and to have a better connection and everything with the Lord. If anybody has any questions, any comments, please leave them below or contact me via my inbox here on YouTube. I just want to thank everybody for being there. I want to thank everybody for watching. And this has been the conclusion of the reviews, the nine chapters and the conclusion of the book, The Word of Rejection by Joyce Meyer. I am considering doing another uh, book uh, here it's going to be way down the line because I don't know when I'm going to get the chance to read it, but I would like to do another uh, book review on a book that uh, my grandmother has to read first. And everything. It's actually something that we had done in church. It was a five-week program, and I hope to maybe eventually share that with you somewhere down the line. But I just I thank you again for being there, and I love all of you, and have a great weekend, and God bless you. Mwah.